Joining us now in an exclusive interview, Smart CEO Jim Bouchard. Jim, it's great to have you on the show. Welcome. Hey, Morgan. Thank you very much. So I want to start right there. Uh, your response to the response from Cleveland Cliffs CEO on why this is a credible offer. Well, it's great. He has a ton of debt. Okay, he's paying his debt down. It's good. We have no debt. We we run off of cash. You know, and I've been with U.S. Steel for 20 years. I was the chairman CEO of Wheeling Pittsburgh Steel, and we had a tremendous amount of debt. So I have based my company off of no debt. We have tremendous credit facilities that are untapped. And uh, so this is this is not this is not a big transit. This is actually the reason Cleveland Cliffs is offering cash and stock is because they don't have cash. Okay. Um, I have the cash. We have the cash. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. Two questions for you here. Then, have you heard back from U.S. Steel on your offer? Uh, U.S. Steel, I believe, is. I think they were having a emergency board meeting this afternoon, and I think they are. Okay. Again, the board will make whatever decision they make. However, we are supportive. You know, I've been with U.S. Steel a long time. Yeah. Love U.S. Steel. So we're supportive of U.S. Steel. So this is not a hostile offer. And if we have to sit down at the table with U.S. Steel to help reconstruct it, we will do that. So. Yeah. And you talked about the fact that you have the cash. Um, and I know you're a privately held company, so you're not necessarily disclosing the same type of financials that uh, that some of the, your public. It's all federally documented because we were a public company. Got it. Under Wheeling Pittsburgh Steel when we acquire them. So yeah. everybody, there, there, there's no secrets here. Uh, got it. So, so when analysts like, for example, those at Gordon Haskett say, you know, question whether this is a real offer, and they say, "quote unquote," lack of financing deals and flowery press release are red flags. You would say that that's not true. Uh, just go to all federal documents, the United States government. It's all federal documents. They have it's all there. Okay, so Jim, why doesn't the uh, Steelworkers Union want you to to get this prize? Then, what are they missing? Um, yeah, why not? They say they, they only John, want that, the other deal. That's a very to get good done. question. So I had talks this afternoon with Tom Conway, Dave McCall, um, and uh, text back and forth. So it's 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 very complexing because we are all you know all of our plants are United Steel Workers plants. Okay, um, we have enjoined and engaged, and we have fairly bargained. And recently put in United Steel Workers agreements, even over the last 12 months. All right. So you okay. say and, this is they this know is cash. How I am a union friendly guy. All right. Okay. So we don't have to make places non union. We can make money. We have profit sharing. Even though the market's bad, GDP's down, we have continued every month to pay profit sharing. To our union employees, so um, and how we much, have laid off. How we have debt, laid off nobody. How much debt are you going to have to take on in order to make good on this seven point eight billion dollar offer? I mean, I take it you don't have eight billion dollars in cash just sitting around. So how's that going to work? Are you going to have to put some of your commercial real estate holdings up as collateral here? That's a good question. Unfortunately, we have ten billion in cash committed to the deal. And we are not putting up any of Esmark's assets, period, as collateral. 